most of, most of you know, all our cities are getting older. They're just getting older. And all our infrastructure is old, and we can't worry about it. We heard talk of the trillion dollar stimulus coming for infrastructure, but we can't, we can't wait on that. But also, it's getting older, and in order for us to keep up with industry to come here to be able to provide them with water and sewer, we have to do it ourselves. So if we do get to the point where we get the, the stimulus coming through, we, I'm quite sure we have some residues, but that's where most of our money is coming from. Most of our spots money is going to. But you know, for you and your wife, you know, who knew the time, that's where most of our money is spent on our spots towards our um, infrastructure, making sure that our water is able to do everything we need. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Could you introduce yourself there? I'm Scott Ornstein, District 2 County Commissioner. And for those of you who don't know, the County Commissioner does represent certain parts of the city as well. So the north side of the city of Al Austin is, is, uh, is my district as well. So Tim and I work together when we can. And, and I said that to say that, that, that we love the city of Al Austin. The city of Al Austin is important to us. My wife's an educator. She owns, uh, I started to say I, but she owns 14, 15, 16 homes inside the city limits, so for taxpayers as well. Um, but talking about education, I just kind of like to know if y'all feel like we're getting there, with, we talked about the school board vote coming up, are we getting there with the school board and the Dallas City school system and proving that, that where you, you're an educator, my wife's an educator, that the city of Alabasta has, has a fine school system. And we have the IB program. We have, it just seems like for the longest time there had been this flight in the county schools, and it seemed to cause an issue inside the city. And I don't want to, you know, I, don't, I, don't, I know that this conversation can go real deep, but I'm just curious if lately, if y'all have had conversations with the city school representatives and what you're seeing. And, I, and let me say this one thing that, that I'm really proud to say is <coughs> I'm in the construction business. I recently did, recently did a renovation for a couple coming out of Germany. Um, she's flying from Qatar to Afghanistan, and they're both military. He's a fighter pilot. Um, and the point I'm, I'm making is that they deliberately selected a house in Cherry Creek North because in Cherry Creek because it was inside the city of Austin. Their circle of friends all over the world understands and hears about the success of our IB program and how great the city of Austin school system is. So, although all of her friends were in Stone Creek, she selected a home inside the city of Alaska as opposed to Lyons County. So I see things are starting to kind of turn around. And I was just curious if, if y'all are seeing kind of the same thing if we're fixing that problem at the community. Yeah, I appreciate that question. My wife's also on school, but I want to address that question in another manner. Um, we all know, because we're in this community, we already know about Alaska High School has one of the Bad Austin City School has one of the best programs in the nation. But what we have to think about is locally, what do we do to impact that? I mean, I can go right now to you and say, Scott, bring your kids to go to school in the city. You know that's just school. But when we have our people like the Board of Realtors who sell homes saying county schools versus city schools, we automatically know what that means. That's 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 kind of jargon for them. White kids, black kids, innocent. So we have to stop hurting ourselves with this because if you go out there and watch the graduation rate and you see the kids walking across the state, you see just as many white kids, you see black kids. So that's the thing that we do that's a self-inflicted move to our community. Just like like you said, they can go on the internet and Google it and say how good, how I'd be appropriate. We have to tell our own local community to do the same. I mean, you think about it. If you're selling, I mean, you're in construction. You would never tell anyone to say, we're going to segregate our homes. We're going to segregate them. Because you, your, your business is to sell homes and to make money. You don't care where the money comes from, if it's a bad off the high school or Atlanta's county. But we have to get our own systems to stop doing it. The rivalry ends 
when is being night? That's it. After that football game is over, we need to be warm. What's good for you in the county is good for the city. And once we get to that, once we start realizing that, we, we will be better as a community. We have to stop. Because I'm telling you, that, that's, that, that, that hurt me. We talked about it in our retreat. Um, our um, retreat we had once a year. Our own businesses, right here. We can't, we can't, we can't be separated on that. I'm trying to stop Mr. Gibbs from speaking on it because he's a um, <laughs> member of the uh, city school system. I don't want him to get his seven children. So well, I'm not hiring. Now, well, the thing I'm going to talk about, you know, are we heading the right direction or are, what are we doing good? Um, I have, you know, I teach in the city and I have great friends that go to the county and, and everybody's around. But it's like I tell, I was t having this conversation the other day with someone who, um, you know, we're talking about school systems in general. And I said, you know, they both bring their own great things to the table. Um, county has, you know, the FFA, they have archery, they have the TSA program, they have all these great things that, you know, that meet the things that some people need. You know, that's what they want. They want FFA. They want the cows and the hogs, and they, they, that's, that's the things that they want to do. And then you've got some that, that want the IB programs, and they want the STEM Academy, which is why we've got the new STEM building at Austin Middle School. And they want these other, so I think it's a matter of, in my opinion, it's like I tell, it's like I tell my kids, I do, I do hunting and kicking lessons, and they always ask me, Coach Gibbs, what college should I go to? And I always say, pick a college, they gears towards what you want to learn, gears towards what fits you, gears towards what you want to be, where you want to go. If STEM is it, if that's your thing, if IB program is it, and, and it's not here in the county, that's fine, it's not a problem with that. Then go to that, then go to the city, you know? But pick what's best for you and your family and what you're going to accomplish with your life and your goals and your, your agenda in life. And, but it goes back to, you know, the sad part is, is that we do have that. You know, we, um, we just, you know, had someone that just, and I, I don't want to name any names, but we just had someone to come and move to this area. And the first thing he said to me was, whenever we got approached by a realtor, and they said, you don't want to go to city schools, you want to go to the county. And he asked me, why would they say that? And I said, I don't know. I don't understand why they would do that. You know, and that's where you have to, you've got to stop that because both school systems are good. And if you take that even further to the economic development side of it all, that, that all trickles up of North to Atlanta where a lot of jobs come in. And people hear that. People hear those conversations people understand that hey you know why why is that like this why is there that division sort of between people saying you don't want to be here you don't want because we had the economic development group to come in pat wilson and them come in i don't know if if you've had y'all had a chance to meet him or not but the first thing he said they do is, is that the companies nowadays it used to be the reverse they would call up and say hey we want to be, we, want, we got a company, we want to go to a location, this is what we want to do. And then they would find like four or five locations and say, here are the locations that are great that's going to meet your need. Now it's reverse. They call a patent them and go, here are the five places we want to go. Now go out and get us some incentives and some benefits and make it better for us. And that's when we want to go. And so it's kind of reverse now. But I say that to say that the first thing they look at is workforce. And the second thing they look at is the schools and their graduation rates. Because if, if your high schools are not producing great graduation rates, then in their mind they're not producing great workforce. And their mind is we're not going to come spend millions of dollars to come here. So my thing is, they say the third thing is bad force is the media. Is, uh, is the media, the newspapers, the, it, it, everything, because the more negative, they look at all that. They're already looking years ahead, months ahead, 
And those are the things they look at and they see everybody's getting along, graduation rates up, everybody's passing, schools are perfect, they're awesome, no matter what school system it is, that is what attracts more people to this area. And the more businesses we bring, the more our economy grows, the better off we are as a whole. So that's, you know, that's kind of, so both school systems are great. I mean, I, I wouldn't have a problem sending my kid to either one of them. My child goes to school at city schools because I'm in the city school. And it's easy for us to go to, and they go to school with me, one does, and the other one goes to silence my home, and because it's more convenient for where we live at, so there's no, you know, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I have no issues with the county, I just, I don't teach in the county. I have no, you know, I, I live in the city, so. Who else that?